Let's talk about the top five AI design tools that you want to be using for 2025. Now, whether you're a graphic designer looking to cut down your creative process time, or you're just somebody looking to look like a professional graphic designer, then these are all the five tools that I think you should be using for this year. So. First up is Ideagram. Now, Ideagram, I am on the $20 per month plan. That's plenty. Do not fall for Pro. Pro allows you to do bulk updates, uh, but you don't really need bulk uploads, not updates, uh, because you need to tweak your AI prompts. So at the end of the month, we will be talking, uh, come to my q and I'll be talking about tips and we'll go over best practices for image prompting using all of these AI tools. So this image that you see here was created with a few different uh, image generators and then put together in Photoshop with some overlays. So we'll talk about how to recreate this too if you would like to do that. But going back to Ideogram, if I put that same kind of basic prompt to get the woman wearing the purple tank and the jeans, this is all um, like, I think these are all great. Like the images in the background, the woman, some of them maybe look a little faker than others, maybe not as realistic. Um, but I think Ideagram does an amazing job. Plus it's the only one that can actually do letters for you uh, and actually spell them correctly. So that's number one. The second one is Mid Journey. Now Mid Journey, I am just still on the basic $10 per month plan. I really haven't had to go up since then. Um, over here, you can see it has to a varying degree. I don't know why their images always come out a little sexier even though I didn't ask for a sexy person. So um, there's that. Uh, in fact, I end up covering up the cleavage a lot with some other tools or inside of Photoshop. But overall, I think it did a great job with the the look and feel. So that's number two. Um, number three is free pick. So free pick, despite the word that says free, it is not free, it is a paid tool. Uh, so if you wanna use the AI image generator, uh, I have the $12 per month plan and that's been great for me. Um, so in here, you can see what I really like about it is it allows you to use Flux and all of the different models. So over here, whenever I put a prompt in, I can use Mystic, I can use Flux One, Fast, Realism, or 1.1. I can go back to some of these classic ones, um, the Mystic 2.5. So all of these different images, I did that same prompt and over here you can see, it'll tell you exactly what image it used. This used 1.0, this used Mystic 2.5, this used Mystic 2.5 Flexible, which is probably the best ones in terms of quality that I've seen so far. This one, the Flux 1.1, I really like the background in this one, but maybe the image might look a little too like AI-ish, um, in my opinion. And then over here, this is the classic original one that they had, and as you can see, it's just kind of bad, but this is where AI images were about a year ago. Over here, these actually look pretty real. And this was the Flux 1.0 realism. So you can go through these, try all these different models. That's why I really like free pick for that. Um, so that is what tool number three. So number four is Adobe Firefly. Now Adobe Firefly, I did include it here. Once in a while you get some cute stuff. Um, but not a lot. Mostly I use Adobe Firefly for the generative fill to help expand things or um, make images larger or create a vector, something like that. Uh, but putting it into, oh, the price. So Adobe Firefly is free. However, to really use any of these tools, you do need the premium version. So one, if you have Adobe Creative Cloud, it's already included, it's free. Um, or you can just pay $4.99 a month for Adobe Firefly. But you can go in here to this text -to image generator and I believe I had the text in there. Yeah, there we go. An action shot. And it's pretty quick, uh, so we can just go ahead and wait. Yeah, so the images here aren't as great as the other ones, like I said, but all the other tools it can do are just so much better. Um, so the last tool that we're gonna talk about is Canva. So Canva has purchased Leonardo. So Leonardo and Canva's images are kind of the same, even though they claim that using Leonardo is far superior and way better. I actually think so. If we put that same prompt inside of Canva, if you go down inside of your Canva and you go at the bottom left and you go to Dream Lab, you will be at the prompting area for 
Leonardo. So when you put this uh, prompt inside of here, I don't know why I'm getting a lot of these weird messages, but I think it did a pretty great job just inside of Canva for what I was able to get. I think it looks a little bit like AI, but at the same time, some of these are pretty good. They're much more detailed than the other ones. Maybe there's some background shots in here I could use. Um, so I, I think it's actually a pretty great tool uh, versus like, you know, last year I was making fun of Canva and I was like, this is the worst image generator in the world. So I think they've come leaps and bounds since then. So Leonardo, if I put that same prompt in, you're going to see it's gonna have, um, is it better? I, again, I think they're kind of on par. It looks the same to me. This woman looks very fake, like she was created with AI. This looks kind of AI. So they're just not as realistic. And this is the model. This is their latest model, which is the um, uh, Leonardo and Phoenix. So putting both of those models together, I still kind of just got this. So I think, you know, again, for me at least, the free tool inside of Canva works just as great as the Leonardo one um, so far. But I think if you have the ability to buy credits, so on Leonardo, you buy credits. It's not really like a monthly plan. Um, it's a very complex and confusing token system, but in theory, it's supposed to save you money. So those are all of my tools. Crea, I do use for upscaling. I know a lot of people use Topaz. I prefer Crea, 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 I'm not sure how to say it. It's much better. I just have the basic $8 one and it's been working great for me. There are a couple times if I have a lot of images, I will run out of credits for the day, but for the most part, it's been great. So let's recap all of those five AI design tools. Um, first was Ideagram. The second one was Midjourney. The third one was FreePick, uh, which is also flux in essence. Um, the fourth one is Firefly and the fifth one is Canva, mostly because Canva allows you to use Leonardo, which I feel like you could go ahead and get, I feel like they're one in the same, right? So um, if you already pay for Canva, I guess just stick with that. But if you can afford a few credits on Leonardo, I would say definitely go for that one as well. And then, like I said, I also think that Crea, Crea, <laughs> is really great for upscaling for any of these images, um, especially the ones, like I said, that, you know, Dream Lab or this one didn't, it came out kind of fake looking. Usually when you do the upscale, it will upscale the fakeness out and make it a little bit more real. So, all right, I will see you at the end of the month when we do the Mastering AI image prompting and we're gonna use all of these tools. I'm gonna show you my workflow and how that all goes together. Uh, so make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notifications when I go live. All right, I hope everyone's having a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye.